welcome to all. Myself, Dr. Shrekumar, Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering. In this video, I am going to teach you how to solve the differential equation by using calculator. That means, how to find the particular integral by using scientific calculator. Before that, we must know the Euler equation. E power i n theta equal to cos n theta plus i sin n theta. Here, cos n theta is the real part of e power i n theta and sin n theta is the imaginary part of e power i n theta. Now, let me solve one example by using this method. So, d square plus 3d plus 2 of y equal to sin 3x. First, to solve, we have to find the complementary function. First, write the auxiliary equation by replacing d by f. So, the Euler, so the auxiliary equation, a e, so d plus d by f. So, we get m square plus 3m plus 2 and equal to 0. Now, we have to solve this equation. The product is 2 and the sum is 3. So, the numbers are 1 and 2. So, we can write m plus 1 into m plus 2 equal to 0. So, the two roots are m1 equal to minus 1 and m2 equal to minus 2. This can also be solved by using calculator. So, the complementary function, shortly called cf equal to a e power m1x plus b e power m2x. So, cf equal to a e power minus x plus b e power minus 2x. Now we are going to find the particular integral. So particular integral equal to 1 divided by d square plus 3d plus 2. Here we have sin 3x. So, this is imaginary part of e power i 3x. So, this is the main concept, imaginary part of e power i 3x. Now, substitute for d the value i 3 or 3a. So, 1 divided by 3i the whole square plus 3 into 3i plus 2. Here e power i 3x we can write cos 3x plus i sin 3x. We have to consider the imaginary part. Now I will explain how to find this value by using scientific calculator? First, we have to change the calculator mode into complex mode. So, press the mode. Here, complex mode is number 2. So, press 2. Now, the mode is changed to complex. Now, press 1 and divided by put double bracket, then we have to put 3a, so 3, this inch button, this is i, so 3a, then close the bracket, then put square, so 3a square, then plus 9 inch button, that is 9i, then plus 2, then close the bracket, 
then press equal to so we get the value like this then press a b by c button so we get minus 7 by 130 this is the real part so here We have to write minus 7 by 130. Then press shift equal to. After that, you have to press shift equal to. Okay. Then the value will be like this. Then press AB by C. We get minus 9 by 130. This is imaginary part. In the calculator, we can see I here. So you have to write. Minus 9 by 130 I into cos 3x plus I sin 3x. Then you have to multiply these two terms and you have to take the imaginary part. So when we are multiplying minus 7 by 130 cos 3x and minus 7 I by 130 sin 3x and minus 9 by 130 i cos 3x then minus 9 by 130 i into i i into i i square that is minus 1 so this term will come as plus so plus 9 by 130 sin 3x here we have to consider the imaginary part. So we have to consider the imaginary part only. So this term and this term we have to take. So omit this real part. So we get minus 7 by 130 sin 3x and minus 9 by 130 cos 3x. So we have to consider that imaginary path. So this is the particular interval. So take minus 1 by 130 outside. So we get sin 3x plus 9 cos 3x. So here 7 sin 3x plus 9 cos 3x. This is the particular term. So then the general solution is given by sum of complementary function plus particular integral. Now let me explain another one example. b square plus 5d plus 6 equal to 4 cos 5x. So first we have to write the axillary equation. Replace d by m. m square plus 5m plus 6 equal to 0. So the product is 6 and the sum is 5. The numbers are 2 and 3. Which can be written as? m plus 2 into m plus 3 equal to 0. Therefore, m1 equal to minus 2 and m2 equal to minus 3. So, the roots are real and distinct. So, the complementary function cf equal to a e power m1 x plus b e power m2 x. So, a e power minus 2 x plus b e power minus 3 x. This is the complementary function. Now we are going to find the particular integral. So the particular integral P A equal to 1 by D square plus 5 D plus 6 into 4 into cos 5 is the real part of E power I 5 x. So we have to write real part of e power i 
5x. Now we can write for d i5 or 5n. So replace so 4 divided by 5i the whole square plus 5 into 5i plus 6 into cos 5x plus i sin 5x. Here you have to consider the real part. Now let me show how to find the particular interval by using calculator. So first change the mode into complex, already that I explained. Now here 4, the denominator is 4. So plus 4 divided by put double bracket, then 5i square, 5 then that inch button that is i then close the bracket and put square then plus 5 into 5i or directly we can write 25 i that is the inch button plus 6 now close the bracket then press equal to we get the number like this then press this a b by c button so we get minus 38 by Minus 38 by 493. Then press shift equal to. We get the numbers like that. Then press A, B by C. We get minus 50 by 493. This is the imaginary part. The calculator will show I here. So you have to write. Minus 50 by 493 i into plus 5x plus i sign 5x. Now multiply the two terms. We get minus 38 by 493 cos 5x. Then minus 38 by 493 i sin 5x. Then this term minus 50 by 493 i cos 5x. Then and you multiply the last term, we get i square that is minus 1, so it will come plus. So plus 50 by 493 sin 5x. Here we have to consider the real part. So since cos 5x is the real part of e power i phi. So the real real part this one and this one. So neglect the imaginary part. So the particular integral is minus 38 by 493 cos 5x plus 50 by 493 sin 5x. So the general solution y equal to cf plus pa. Then combine this, add this and we get the general solution. So here one caution is there. In case of failure, that means when the denominator comes 0, we cannot use this method. At that time, we have to use the ordinary method that multiply the numerator by x and denominator differentiate with respect to d and follow the general procedure. I hope you understood. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Have a pleasant life.